Behold, the Dark Master has arisen. He bids you come forth to the throne room to receive your imperatives. All right, guys. It's me! Ah! So, I, uh, I'm married, and this will be the second time. And after the first time, I didn't think I would ever do it again. And yet here I am, and the four more uh, uh, hey, hey, uh, the four year mark is approaching. And uh, so, what does that have to do with anything? It's the hood, the hoodies. I started wearing hoodies not too long ago, and that means, to some little tiny extent, you've given up on life. Uh, you've, you're choosing. Co you haven't given up on life. You're choosing comfort. So, guys, I have no idea what I'm about to say. I did a ramble yesterday, and how much many minutes do I have? 36 minutes. Okay, that's plenty. And so I like, and then the battery ran out. It's five minutes, and then I just, there was another five minutes, and it was all janky and didn't make any sense. you got to go shut the door. Bunny. So, my daughter, from Wife 2, she's uh, six and a half now, and that's no end of fun. Uh, and by the way, I started in 1999, Wife 1, who's awesome, by the way. We still, uh, we, 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 we get along. Well, <clears throat> for a while there, for a while there, whenever the kids would, you know, like, I don't know, they, we'd be talking, and this is like after the divorce, right? And then the kids would come in, and I, we'd be like, oh, 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 girl, oh, I hate you so much, this is awful. And they would just roll their eyes, and we'd be like, you guys don't hate each other. So anyway, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, in 99, she's like, uh, by the way, time for baby number one. And I was like, um, okay. And I did not want to ever have kids. Like, it didn't occur to, I was like, ooh, kids, yay. And so, um, now at the time, I had a game shop. I lived in Medford, Oregon. I had a game shop, loved my game shop. A little stressed about rent all the time. It's funny, I look back, and the rent was only 500 a month for a 1,500 square foot space downtown. That's great. And so, uh, hold on a second, yeah. All right, so um, you thought I was just going to wander off. So anyway, uh, I find out that she's pregnant with our first child. And down at my game shop, I had a little homemade... Uh, what's going on? I had a homemade security system. And later, I like saw that I had recorded a conversation with somebody. A friend of mine came in, and he was like, well because I was giving him the news. And he's like, well, how do you feel about that? And I was like, well, officially, I'm happy. Congratulations. Unofficially, there goes my freedom. <laughs> and now, of course, if I could go back, I would be much, much more excited. And, of course, because I knew what I was doing. Like, if you were going to start day one as a mechanic on Monday, and guess what? You didn't know anything about being mechanics. Oh, and you had to sleep down at the mechanic shop. Well, I don't know. You'd probably be a little nerd. Like, I, I didn't know what to do when that kid was crying at 3 a.m. And now, of course, I know exactly what to do. And, uh, and, and you might be thinking, well, Sean, what is, what is the thing that you do? Uh, okay, well, this is a ramble, so I'm going to tell you. What you do is you make a list. You make a list of possible things that it could be. I've also saw a little video blurb about how babies actually have different cries for different things. So maybe you'll look that up. I never knew that. And it's a guessing game. They can't tell you what's wrong. Sometimes uh, it's overstimulation. Like they literally just need to be not bothered with and they just need some peace and quiet. And if you're fretting on them, then it, nothing is going to work. So anyway, yeah, make a list of things. And, uh, and there's like, there's probably like 10 or 12 and, uh, just start those things. Cause men are, men are very goal oriented and we get frustrated when the task is futile. So 
if you have like the list of things, then you can just be like, okay, I'm trying this, I'm trying this, I'm trying this, I'm trying this. And then after you're done with that, so like, well, you know, the child's probably not gonna die if you if they cry for a while. And uh, uh, so yeah, that would be my advice to new fathers. And of course, I have four kids from uh, my first wife, Tammy, who again is an amazing human being. Uh, if you've ever met her or had a chance to interact with her, well. Lucky you. And uh, so now Luli, Luli's amazing. Uh, the other day I was like, I was like, huh, I wonder if Luli has any problems. Like, what's wrong with her? And I literally couldn't think of anything. Like, yeah, kind of a perfect human. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, tough. it's tough to live with that. When you're awful. All right. So what else? Uh, War. Let's talk about Warhammer 40k. Let's have a. Okay. Thank you for that. You okay. Yeah. All right. Off you go. And <clears throat> Warhammer 40k. I love Warhammer 40k. I started up in second edition. First edition, which is called Rogue Trader. And I think when they made it, they didn't know there would be more editions. They were just doing things. That's called the Golden Age of uh, something. And, uh, yeah, it's Golden... It's, uh, gar it's, yeah, it was their Garage Age. It's Garage Age, Golden Age, and then the last age is called the Bastards. And everything goes through this cycle. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I started in second edition. It was 1997. The summer, uh, some friends that I did role-playing games with, they brought over some White Dwarf magazines. They were just reading them. And I was like, what's that? And then I was, I was immediately hooked. Once I understood what this was, I had to do it. And of course, the nature of me, Sean Gately, is that uh, I, get all, I get all obsessive about something. Like, if I'm into it, I'm way into it. And, uh, and sometimes those days, things stick. So, like, I'm still doing it. So 97, uh, 25, 27 years ago, I was, uh, ish, I was, is it 20, 26? Yeah, that's right. That's how long I've been painting. I love painting. Oh, I'm going to make you yawn. Are you yawning yet? Go ahead. Just do, just give in. All right. So anyway, I would love to play 40K again. If I knew what 40K was. They keep changing. It's the rules churn is insane. Thank goodness for Wahapedia, because they uh, have definitely brought some order to that chaos by getting all the rules into one place. So thank God for that guy, and uh, we should we should all help him uh, as much as we can. Uh, so anyway, tenth edition is coming out, and it's guess what. It's the same old promises. Oh, it's going to be streamlined. It's an approver. All your books will still, all your old books will still work. No, they won't. Actually, I don't know if they're saying that for this one. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they're saying that they're going to get all rules in one place and not have codexes anymore. I don't know. I don't believe that. The profit margin on those codexes is insane. First off, they used to be 20 bucks. Now they're 50 bucks. And if you really keep up, it's like 25 to 35 books per edition. And that's crazy. That's like $1,000 to $1,500 just to buy a complete set of books. And I used to, for the studio, for reference material, I used to buy every single book that came out. Just auto-purchase. Look at it. Be excited about it. I'm like, no way, man. Oh, they give you another one. Ah. So, yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait this time. This will probably be the first edition where I don't play it. I possibly won't even play it. Because it's, it's the, I mean, come on. Just make it easy for the fans to do it. But, uh, there you go. That's my opinions on 10th edition. And, uh, of course, um, Guy, what's uh, what's other big news? Oh, I finished my book, Elans, E L L A N Z. Uh, so I finished my game system, and you know what? It's a vanity project. I get it. 
I go to the game shop, I see those one-off uh, campaign books and systems, and I'm just like, oh, I'm so yawny. Hold on. Maybe if you don't see it, it won't happen. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, in the winter, November 20, 2020, I think it was, I was scrolling uh, Facebook, laying in bed, and then I realized, oh my gosh, I've been doing this too hours. I'm like, you know what? I could, in this time, I'm doing this, I could be writing my book. And before that, I was looking at the 5th edition player's handbook, and I was like, I could write this. I'm, these guys aren't smarter than me somehow. And, and I'm a good writer, by the way. I'm eloquent. I know how to put it all together. And uh, I actually think in many ways my writing is better. Is it? All right. Well, anyway, so I set a goal. I, I calculated that the player's handbook for 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons is uh, like 200,000 words. I've written 160. Uh, and after writing all that, I'm like, I think, I think I got it. I think it's the same volume because I have, uh, my book has 390 pages without the... Um, without the, the index. And I'm gonna make the awesomest index. And you know what, you know what uh, really grinds me about indices is that it's like saving throws. And then it says, see something else, right? And then you gotta go look up at the other thing. Just give me the page number. Just give me the page number of the, just tell me. Don't make me look at another. That's the whole point of the index is to make finding something easy. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna refer, so, and I know that's probably officially <coughs> college style how you do an index. Well, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it the good, nice, helpful way. So uh, I've written a lot about it. I'm going to talk to you about it in another video. And I think I'm just yawning so much. i got to put it into Am I tired? What's going on? I don't even understand. Um, things at the studio are going good. By and large, the... The turnaround time is really cracking now. I usually get in something and we just get started in on it right away. My crew's gotten stronger and stronger. And guys, my head is down to the grindstone. I just keep going and going. And uh, it just it's just gotten the metrics, which I keep close track of, they just keep getting better and better and better. And I'm getting it to where I want it. And by the way, January 1st, 2024 will mark 20 years of BTP. So I'm inside of year 20 now. I'm real excited about that. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the future. And I think the thing is, with the business, my huge bit of business advice is take care of the fundamentals. Don't get distracted with other things. Success is usually what kills a company. All right, well, I hear a little knock. I don't know what that is, uh, but that was my whole ramble. I'm going to come back soon, talk to you more about Elans and some other things. Uh, but the plug is, I'm ready for some new projects. I want to put two to four more of them on the docket, so please get in touch. Let's get rolling. I'm sitting, I'm sitting around like the Maytag repairman. All right, thanks for tuning in.